Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. If you thought Transformers aren't real, then you are in for a huge surprise. Humans have progressed enough that they can build robots for anything, let it be a robot for robot battles or for movies. Today we are looking at real-life Transformers that will blow your mind. Watch till the end to see Bumblebee and Megatron steal the show. Angry Bumblebee Let's start the list with the radio-speaking Autobot that was Optimus Prime's right-hand man for decades and decades. Bumblebee is one of the oldest and Prime's most trusted Autobot, who is very loyal and cool-headed towards everyone, especially humans. We doubt that is true for the real-life Bumblebee, though. A video was recently uploaded that got a lot of attention from the Transformers community. In it, a person dressed what seems to be a rat or something is trying to hit a yellow Chevrolet Camaro with a hammer. If you remember properly, it is also Bumblebee's car in the movies. As soon as he starts hitting, the most unexpected thing happens. The car transforms into a Bumblebee. Witnessing that, people around him started running for their lives, which makes it look like a real scene. Bumblebee then picks up the guy, throws him away before transforming back into the car and drifting away from there. The video was caught on a mobile camera and seems real. We are not sure if this was a stunt, but whatever it was, Bumblebee transforming into a bot and then into a car seems pretty real to us. What do you guys think? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Optimus Prime We doubt any list of Transformers will ever be complete without Optimus Prime. The leader of the Autobots has done everything in his power to gain human trust and keep them from getting wiped off the planet Earth by the Decepticons. And that includes dying and coming back to life multiple times. We have to say there is no one as persistent as him. And finally, the world was able to meet the real Optimus Prime at Orlando Universal Studios. During the grand opening of the Transformers theme park, Optimus Prime appeared in both truck and robot forms, and the world was totally astonished to witness the Autobot leader in real life. It is just amazing. Peter Cullen, who is the voice behind Optimus, was also there to make everything look and sound completely real. Megatron When mentioning Optimus Prime, it is hard not to bring up his arch-rival, who has also died and come back to life multiple times just to compete with Optimus. Megatron is the leader of the Decepticons, and he is one of the most persistent and strongest enemies Autobots have faced. He has also killed Optimus once, even though it was a 3 versus 1 battle and Megatron had help from his fellow Decepticons. So, it wouldn't be any justice to bring up just Optimus Prime at the Transformers theme park at the Orlando Universal Studios, right? The team knew that, and they rolled out Megatron for the public view for the first time ever, and he just looked amazing. He walked down a path with guards dressed as soldiers. You can even hear him badmouth Prime. Never change, Megatron. Robot Method 2 The Transformers movies have shown us that humans remain pathetic creatures of meat and bone, and because of that, the era of the almighty humanoid Terminator might be upon us. Let's talk about the gigantic robot, Method 2. This hulking manned robot, made by Hankook Murray technology. If you think that this gigantic piece of metal looks like something straight out of a Transformers movie, you're not too far off. The company hired Hollywood designer Vitaly Bulgarov, who actually worked on Transformers Age of Extinction to craft the robot's look. The development of Method 2 cost over $100 million, but the robot itself is not for sale. The company says that a version of the Method 2 could one day be used for disaster relief or military operations. But wait, we have been told that robots will one day take over the world and wipe out the whole population to start a new life here. Whatever happened to that theory? Method 2 has been piloted by Jeff Bezos himself, who introduced the robot at the Mars Robotic Conference in Palm Springs in 2017. Real Life Bumblebee There are many fake videos of Bumblebee on the internet, but we assure you this one is absolutely real and mind-blowing. 
During the opening of the Transformers theme park in Orlando, the original Bumblebee Transformer model that has been used in the movies was displayed to the public for the first time ever. He looks so real that people were astonished that he wasn't. Along with Optimus Prime's truck, the Chevrolet Camaro Bumblebee transforms into what was also showcased to the world. Standing almost 10 feet tall, the Autobot became kids' favorite instantly. A little child even came out of nowhere and blocked Bumblebee's path. Isn't that just adorable? MK3 MK3 is no less of a Transformer robot itself. This gigantic machine is the upgraded version of MK2. Built by the American company Megabots Inc., MK3 is a 12-ton, 430-horsepower robot. This robot was revealed at the market fair. At the start, the robot had some functionality issues as its arms didn't work when it threw a punch. After a few fixes, the robot was ready for, you guessed it right, robot fighting. MK3 has an American flag painted on it, and there is also an eagle in its full might on the robot's shoulder. The robot is also really fast compared to other robots, moving at a speed of 12 miles per hour. He really looks like a Decepticon. The robot showed its power when it threw a punch and pierced through a car. We just hope that these robots don't start making decisions on their own. Robo Kia If you want to learn how to do promotions and advertisements, just watch how automakers do it. Kia Motors has done something which might compel you to rethink what innovation is. The South Korean car maker reached another level when they revealed a transformer. Yes, the car put under test was Kia's SUV Borrego. Initially, it seemed to be a normal SUV standing on the deck for visitors to glance at. And as the crowd thought that was it, music, smoke, and lights grabbed the attention of the onlookers. The SUV they thought was a showcased car was in fact Kia's gimmick for the show. In just a few seconds after the music uplifted the atmosphere, the SUV stood up. And by stood up, we mean it actually got on its feet. The Mojave took a stance as a robot for a while and then got back on all fours. Kia Motors dubbed the transforming SUV as the Robo Kia, and it also wore a nameplate of the same. Well, it very much suits the high-tech machine. Flying Car In the Transformer movies, we see robots turning into airplanes and conquering the skies. A Slovakia-based startup has tossed its hat into the very nascent field of flying cars. Aeromobile unveiled the final commercial design for its flying car at the supercar show Top Marquis Monaco in 2017. But the vehicle won't come cheap. Aeromobile says it will cost between $1.3 million and $1.6 million, with deliveries beginning in 2022. The reveal comes at a time when several companies have expressed an interest in developing flying cars, such as Uber and Z.Aero. But unlike Uber and Z.Aero, Aeromobile is launching a true flying car that can both drive on the road and hit the skies. Most companies are pursuing a system that allows the aircraft to take off vertically without needing a runway, but aren't meant to be driven. Aeromobile says the vehicle can transform into flight mode in less than three minutes. As a car, it has a top speed of 100 miles per hour and can drive for 434 miles. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Bumblebee In this picture, a bumblebee can be seen standing next to an Old World War II Jeep. Even though this isn't the car Bumblebee transforms to in the sci-fi movie, we get the idea behind it. Being one of the most famous Transformers in the series, and even though he speaks through a radio, the bumblebee is still loved by every robot fan. So it shouldn't be a surprise that someone developed an old car into a bumblebee transformer. Check this amazing transformation that completely surprised fans. It was built by James Bruton, an engineer who posts the things he builds on YouTube. This is the surprise we want on our birthday next year, but probably won't get. Sad. Latrons
Latrons already sounds like something out of Transformers, so you just know that a car named that will be just awesome. The car was built by a Turkish company called Latrons, which already sounds like a Transformers name, and as you can see, it's a fully functional Transformer. Well, okay, maybe not fully functional. Like, it doesn't battle Decepticons or fly or, well, move. At least not when it's in robot mode. Although you can still drive it around via remote control when it's in car mode. Want one? Who doesn't? We can't tell you exactly how much they cost, but we're guessing that they're not cheap. Our estimate would be around $600,000. Check out their website for more details, and if you decide to make an order, please ask them on our behalf to make a life-size Optimus Prime next. Who is your favorite Transformer? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.